myself professor pritish chitte working as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering department in walchand institute of technology solapur in today's session we are discussing types of milling cutters that is in the course of manufacturing technology so what you are learning so you will be able to explain the types of milling cutters these are the content first we will discuss what we have discussed in the last session that is methods of milling and the types of milling cutters today we will discuss types of milling cutters so we have discussed the methods of milling there are two methods of milling that is up milling and down milling in the first figure you can see there is a up milling that is called as conventional milling in the second method that is called as down milling that is called as climb milling in the up milling the milling cutter is rotating in the opposite direction of the feed that is provided to the workpiece so whenever at the start point whenever the milling cutter will touch the workpiece the chip removal process will start that will be the minimal that will be zero at the point a here just i will write it here just a minute okay so here at this particular point that will be at the point a that will be zero but whenever the milling cutter is rotating and it is touching to the workpiece so at the point b at the point b that will be maximum at the point b that will be maximum so we can say that the whenever the milling cutter is it will touch to the the last point or the end point the chip formation process that will be maximum and at the initial point that will be zero in case of down milling in case of down milling the milling cutter rotation that will be same as to the feed that is provided to the workpiece yes you can see the milling cutter rotation that is this one that is in the clockwise direction and the feed movement that is provided to the workpiece that is also same and that is in the opposite direction in case of up milling here suppose this is my point a at the initial point only in case of down milling the chip formation process that will be maximum so whenever it is touching at the end point that is maybe the point b it will be zero that we have discussed in the last session so what we can say at the initial point that is at the point a the chip formation process that will be maximum and as process goes on in the down milling at the point b that will be the end point in the down milling that will be zero so this is the method of milling that we have discussed in the last session after that today we are discussing the different types of milling cutters so one by one we will discuss so the first one that is plain milling cutter you can see here just a minute the cutting teeth yes you can see that is at the periphery only the cutting teeth or the milling cutter teeth that is at the periphery only so if suppose this is the case of helical milling cutter yes maybe the 15 to 30 degrees that is provided in the uh, that is called as helix angle in the helical milling cutter so the the facing operation that we can provide it with the help of this particular plain milling cutter and the plain milling cutter that is fixed in the arbor yes like this yes you can fix like this here the plain uh, milling cutter that can be fixed in the arbor yes the key ways that is provided here after that that is the side milling cutter suppose you want to perform the facing operation the face milling and also you want to provide the side milling also yes you can correlate the milling cutters with the help of milling operation 
here you can see the cutting tooth that is at the periphery also and at the sideways also yes you can see i will just highlight those portion that are those on the sideways yes the cutting teeth are at the sideways and also at the periphery means the cutting operations yes you can provide it on the made the to the side and or to the face also yes this is the advantage of the side milling cutter after that shell face milling cutter if suppose you are having a huge surface that is a flat surface and at the very less time you want to provide the face milling operation yes you are having a very large surface and you want to provide the face milling operation yes you can use the shell face milling cutter yes you can see the size of the shell face milling cutter yes and the cutting teeth these are at the for example at the side and at the we can call this at the periphery also after that there is a angular milling cutter suppose you want to take the angular cuts for example you want to take maybe the v cut or or maybe you want to provide just for example a groove like this yes you can provide the uh, v cut or maybe the angular cut or maybe uh, the grooves with the help of angular milling cutters and you can see the angular cuts are the irregular type of milling cutters the for example the milling cuts or the tooth are at the sideways and at the periphery also that is the angular milling cutter this angular milling cutter we can call as the two sideways milling cutter and this is the one side angular milling cutter because at the second side the milling cutter or the the cutting tooth are not present after that this is the end milling cutter now for example i want to provide the drilling operation for example so suppose this is my a a work piece that is that is a rectangular plate and i want to provide a drilling operation yes this is the irregular type of work piece and you want to provide the drilling operation yes you can use the end mill cutter you can fix the end mill cutter in the maybe the arbor or maybe the spindle and you can have just the drilling operation yes suppose this is my end mill cutter and this is my work piece and you can provide maybe the drilling operation or for example you want to provide the facing operation yes for that also end mill cutter is used after that there is a shell face milling cutter there is a another diagram for the shell face milling cutter yes suppose you want to provide the face milling operation on the last surfaces in the very less time yes you can use the shell face milling cutter that we have already discussed after that the form milling cutter now what is the use of form milling cutter you can see there is there is a concave type of the we can call it as the milling cutter or maybe the convex type of milling cutter suppose you want to provide maybe the contour milling or maybe the profile milling the irregular type of milling operations you want to provide yes in that case in that case you can use the for milling cutter yes with respect to the the shape of the for milling cutter that shape will be provided to the the work piece for example suppose this is the work piece and this is the shape of we can call it as the the for milling cutter just this way you can have the cutting operation yes you can see this is the portion that is provided or that is operated with the help of form milling cutter now suppose you want to provide the t slot suppose you want to provide the t slot with the help of the maybe the plane milling cutter or the side milling cutter or the form milling cutter you can't provide the t slot there is a particular milling cutter which is called as t slot milling cutter for example maybe uh, you are having a a t slot that you want to generate here like this yes like this you want to provide the the t slot yes with the help of t slot milling cutter you can generate suppose you want to provide the keyhole 
yes woodruff key milling cutter that can be used so these are the different types of milling cutters for the milling operations in the next session we will discuss the different milling operation with respect to the which type of milling cutter that we can use for the milling operation that we will discuss we can correlate the milling cutters and the milling operations there is one simple question that is in front of you you are having one simple animation or the video you can identify the type of milling cutter just think about this yes maybe the facing operation is going on the shell face milling cutter that is the example these are the references